Hey everyone, I wanted to get on today and talk about the pros and cons of having implants or getting implants versus just a regular denture. Um, I had someone in my group um, ask that question um, and I thought that's a good topic for me to discuss, to discuss on video. So um, that's what we're going to talk about. Now, I want to tell you the reason that I got implants on top. So I'm going to give you my number one pro and the number one con, as according to the way I feel, okay? Um, the number one pro I'm going to say is to prevent bone loss, and that's why I chose to get implants. Um, that's something that I have been really, really concerned with. Um, you know, a lot of you know that I went for almost a year with only the teeth, four teeth over here on the side. Um, and in that year's time, I noticed that my lip started to, it started gradually going in. Um, so I knew that I needed to do something. So that's why I chose to get the implants. Um, now, there are so many other benefits but the number one, I'm going to say, is to keep your bone intact. Now, the number one con for me is it takes time. Um, this is not something that can be done in a quick fashion. Um, you have to take time to heal in between these things. It's the best thing to do. Um, there are people that will, or dentists that will do these instant load implants. Um, and I know people that have gone through it and then have done well. Um, that's not something that I would do, um, you know, because I, I just wouldn't. Um, the way that I went about things or the way things happened with my tops, um, where I had extractions, waited two months, had implants, I had the implants and a temporary denture for almost a year. Um, or at least, I went at least six or seven months before those implants were uncovered. Um, and then once that was done, they did the impression for the permanent. But everything has turned out beautifully, and I could not be happier um, with the outcome. Now, I'm getting ready to go through um, having this stuff this done again on my lowers. For my uppers, I got the mini implants. Okay, um, I wasn't. I had thought about getting the regulars, um, and I almost wished that I would have done more research. Um, I I wasn't on in the Facebook groups, or I, and I didn't start doing my YouTube videos until after I had already had the surgery. Now, I'm very happy with my denture and my implants, um, and I would do it all over again. Um, I have learned a lot. Um, you guys know that I have six on top. When I go in next week for my appointment, I am gonna ask him about possibly adding two more minis for a total of eight to see if that will kinda help because these implants are on the front, you know, and um, I have a secure fit, I do, but um, it does rock occasionally when I'm eating. Now, I'm hoping that can be fixed with um, a reline, a hard reline, um, but I am going to ask him if, if I would get more stability, I guess, if I had two extra implants. Um, and I also want to ask him if regular implants, if you have more stability with regular implants versus the minis. Um, I'm thinking that when I have this lower done, if I have enough bone, um, I would like to get two to three uh, regular implants um, for my lower. Um, and I don't think I want the bar retained. I think I just want the regular implants and then the snap, um, the snap in with the gaskets or the O-rings, just like I have on my top. Now, I have a friend that has a bar, the regular implants and the bar, and she loves hers. 
Um, for me, I'm not sure. I don't know if I would like that. Um, so, I, that's again, I think I'm going to get just the regular implants on the lower. And, um, I don't know. I'm going to ask him before I make my final decision. I'm going to ask him um, if you do have more stability with regular implants. Now, another question that I have. When you have minis and a snap-in, I've said this before, um, your gums take the force of the chewing, okay? <coughs> so your gums are still doing the work. When you get the regular implants and a snap-in denture, I'm curious as if your gums still take the force of the chewing or if because they are regular implants, the implants are what takes on the force of the chewing. Um, so that's another question that um, I want to know. Um, I know if you get regular implants and a permanent bridge, the implants take the force of the chewing. But with a snap-in and regular implants, I'm not sure. Okay, guys, let's talk about some other uh, pros and cons of um, implants or implant-retained denture versus just a regular denture. We've already talked about the bone loss prevention. I think that's the number one thing with getting implants is to, to maintain or to keep your bone intact. Um, you have more stability. It makes chewing, talking, and other activities easier and more comfortable. Um, you'll have a more natural feeling, better function and durability, and no adhesive, no adhesive, no adhesive. Um, I did read something interesting. The stuff here that I'm reading came off of a Google search that I did. Um, and I, I found two or three websites that discussed the pros and cons of implants versus dentures. And they basically all said the same thing. There was an interesting thing that I read that said, the longer your dentures are out of your mouth, the weaker your jaw becomes without the pressure of the teeth to support. So you have to wear your dentures, guys. When you, it's so important when you first get them to keep them in your mouth to get used to get used to talking. Um, it takes time uh, to learn how to eat with them. Okay, now let's talk about some of the cons. Um, I've already said the extra healing time. If you get just regular dentures, um, depending on the situation, some people it still takes time. But from extractions, um, once you've had your extractions, most people get immediate dentures, so you'll have something to put in and get used to. Um, and then you get your permanents. I don't know what the time frame is from immediates to permanents. Um, I'm not sure. Um, that's, that's a good question. Okay, so I just, sorry guys, I just did a Google search to see what, what the time frame is. And after, it says about, after you've had your immediates for about a month, you're ready to get be fitted for your permanents. But I know from a lot of people in the groups and from a lot of videos that I've watched, it, it typically takes longer than that. Um, I did find a website called MyDentureCare.com um, that kind of gives you the basic rundown of what you'll go through when you go to get just regular dentures. I'm going to put that link in the description, so um, so if you're interested, you can look over that. It does have a lot of good information. Okay, but if you're going to go for implants, um, my process took over a year. You know, after you've had extractions and then once you've had the implants placed, it takes time. Those implants um, have to fuse the, the posts are put in, and then the jawbone has to fuse with it before they can snap your teeth in. Um, main or um, Most of the time. Um, like I said earlier, there are some people that get the immediate load-type dentures um, where they have the implants placed, and they wait a couple days, and then they go and get their dentures snapped in. Um, but it takes time for those implants to fuse, so... After implant placement, you're looking at being in a temporary denture, I'm going to say for at least six months before um, they would even think about um, 
getting your permanent or getting your impressions done to um, get your permanent snap in or your permanent bridge. Okay guys, but time frame wise on implants versus dentures, it's still going to depend on the individual and what, you know, your, your situation. But the general idea is that it's going to take a lot longer if you choose to get implants. Um, it just is from start to finish. Um, some, some other cons and stuff that I didn't even personally think about when I, my thoughts before I had this surgery were, I just, I'm getting extractions, I'm getting implants, I'm getting a snap indenture. That's the main thing that was on my mind. I didn't think about the aftercare cost. Um, aftercare cost is big. Um, you have to have these things cleaned at least twice a year. Um, if you have the snap in type, you can maintain them pretty well, you know, just by taking them out two or three times a day, brushing those implants good, um, keeping the O-rings clean and making sure food particles and stuff don't get down in there. Um, if you have a permanent bridge type, that's something you don't take out and you have to go back twice a year to have those cleaned. If not, your implants aren't gonna last. So, and that costs money. Now, I do have insurance that starts effective November 1st. I'm not sure. They may pay 50% on the um, aftercare cost or the cleaning of implants. If they do, there will be a waiting period. Um, so that's something that I'll find out. Um, another con, of course, it's that it's more invasive. Um, so you'll have your extractions and then you'll have to have another surgery to have the implants placed. It's more expensive. Um, I think we all know that it's a, implants are not cheap. Um, they've come a long way um, with the different, they do have different types and with, it's just things have gotten a lot better than what they used to be when implants first come out. So they're a lot cheaper, I guess, than what they used to be, but it's still expensive. Um, and you have to have enough bone. Um, so. If you're someone that is in dentures currently and has had dentures for years um, and you're looking at implants, I'm, if you, um, I'm going to say that, um, I don't know. I'm not even going to state that because I don't know for sure. You would have to have a 3D scan to see if you had enough bone density. But, I mean, there are still people that have to have bone grafting done even if they just had extractions some people just don't have the, the enough bone and they have to have grafting done but that's why they do a 3d scan um, to see um, if you do have enough bone and what the best option would be for you if you are considering implants um, something that I would really look for if you're somebody that's really really thinking about doing this find somebody in your area that offers a free consultation um, that's very important. When I first started searching for dentists to do my surgery, um, I found a dentist local or somebody close to my house in a, in a neighboring town, but they wanted like two or three hundred dollars just for the consult. I'm, I, I didn't have it. Um, I wanted the money that I did have. I want, wanted to make sure that um, I had a sufficient sufficient funds to pay for the actual implants and surgery. Um, so I shopped around and found somebody that offered free consultation. Um, and I found a great dentist. Um, so there are the dentists that I went to Thursday to have this extraction done. They do implants there. And she also told me, I told her what my plans were for my lowers. And she said the dentist there that does the implants will do a free consultation. So, but um, she also knows that I am currently seeing another dentist um, for my upper and that he, he's going to be the one to do my lower surgery. Um, I love Dr. Peters. He's got a lot of training. He's done a lot of surgeries. Um, I won't let anybody else touch my mouth as far as the implants goes but him. So... Okay, guys, that's all I have on the pros and cons of implants versus dentures. Um, my butt's going to take a nap. Why? Because I can. It's the weekend. Um, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for everyone um, that has subscribed. 
Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for all the continuous love and support. I could not do this without you guys. Um, I truly, truly mean that. Um, I am 37 away from this goal of a thousand. Um, I'm excited that I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting there. Um, it's really exciting because I've worked really, really hard. Um, it's a lot of work maintaining a YouTube channel. Um, you have to, if, if you want it to go anywhere, you have to engage. You've got to reach out to people um, and let them know that if this is some type of support channel, that you are there to support them. And you've got to show them that. So, anyways, have a great weekend, you guys, and um, I'll see you guys soon.